So now we have our option screen and menu fixed. We can now work on the slider here. Uh, this is a little bit of a reason why it took me a while to figure out. Uh, so we need to open our options widget. Uh, widget so options, and we will. Yeah, we'll keep this. Um, screen scale and return to menu uh, we'll pop you in the bottom corner so you're out of the way and this uh, slider screen scale variable good um, value 0 0.1 yep and save so now we go to our graph and there's a few ways of doing this one is to create a custom event and then add a event dispatcher but it's just too stupidly complicated instead you can just click on this right click uh, call function on slider screen cell set value uh, no it's the other one add event add on value changed and it does it all for you we can't put it in a binding because it's an event but it does always check when this value is changed so now we can set this to something uh, the screen scale is usually from 10 to 100 but this does the slider is based on a 0 to 1 value so we're going to have to change this to one to a hundred. We'll do this by creating a new variable. Uh, we'll call this set scale set screen scale. Uh, this will be a integer, and we'll set this. and we want to from here clamp a float so uh, it'll be 10 to 100 uh, so not 0 0.01 then we want to times this by 100 times that would help float by float 100 and then that should convert so let's see what happens options well we can't see what happens next round put a way to see what happens so print string and we will get the scale should show us what's happening 100 and 1 it's cool uh, exit now to get this changing our stuff we need execute console command our command will be r dot capital screen capital p uh, percentage 
and then a space and from here you want append um, append string yep Uh, or is it from here? It's one of them. Uh, it does the same thing, see? It's ah, yeah. So this will go into B. Uh, we'll break that link go in there and the r dot screen percentage and space will go in there so compile save and then so 100% so I should see now it's going more blurry tends the lowest but maybe we want something that shows what the actual thing is there so go back to Steiner we'll get another text block and believe you're a variable no it might not even matter uh, we'll create binding we'll get our set screen sale uh, we want this to tap see what happens there we go so for debug purposes this can can either keep it but we're already seeing what it's doing So that's how to do a slider. And for the next video, I will show you how to do maybe buttons that will um, block itself out until you press the next button so that's all